All right, now what I want to talk about real quick is suppose that I don't have the actual raw data, right? I don't have the list of data, let's say, and I have a frequency distribution or a frequency table. So here's an example of a frequency table. Uh, 100 families in a particular neighborhood are asked their annual household income to the nearest $5,000. So the results are summarized in the frequency table that is given to the right. So rounding to the nearest $5,000, right, the frequency table shows me that uh, I have six uh, households that have an income of fifteen thousand dollars. I have eight households that have an income of twenty thousand dollars. Eleven that have an income of twenty-five thousand, and so on and so forth. So now, one of the things we might do with the frequency table is find the mean of that frequency table. So I'm being asked to find the mean of this frequency table. Uh, there uh, are one hundred families. Um, I'm being told that we're surveyed, if you will. I can add all of these frequencies together to find that out, right? So I could add all those numbers together. I'm going to get 100. Now, if I'm finding the mean, I technically need to add all 100 numbers together and then divide by 100, right? How many data points there are. So I would literally need to add six 15s together. So I down here have to have 15 added to itself six times. I'd have to have the number 20 added eight times and so on and so forth. Now, obviously this is extremely tedious. So in a shorthand way, if I have 15, excuse me, if I have six of the number 15, our shorthand way is to use multiplication. So 15 added to itself six times is 15 times six. So in essence, the shortcut is I take the data point and multiply by its frequency. And then I'm going to take the data point of 20,000 and multiply by its frequency of eight. And then I'm going to take 25 and multiply by its frequency of 11. So you can see that's what I'm doing down here. Here's the data time times a frequency, the data times a frequency, and then I'm going to add all of those together and divide by the hundred. Now how would we do that in Desmos? So to find the mean of a frequency table in Desmos, what I need to do is add a table. So I'm going to click the plus sign in the top left and add table. And then I'm going to add the data in my table. <clears throat> Excuse me. So to make this a little easier, I'm going to use this table down here at the bottom instead of having to type all of these numbers in. It's just a shorter table. So in my list, I'm going to type in, where is it at, all of the ratings. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then I'm going to click over here and type the frequencies that I have in the second column. So I'm going to have four and then eight and seven, three and one. Now, Desmos can do some pretty cool stuff. It interprets these as ordered pairs. I can do things like linear regression. That's for a different video. What I want to do is find the mean of this frequency table. Now, if we look back at our quote unquote shortcut, right, what we have to do is multiply the data value times the frequency and then add the data value times the frequency. So what I really need to do is multiply the data times the frequency. I need to multiply one times four, two times eight, and I need to sum all of that up. So I'm going to go back to my functions and click on total and I want x1 times y1. So I'm going to type x1 and then multiply by y1 and there's the total of all of those products. Now again this is my numerator that I have. I need to divide by all of the data points. So for this example I need to do 4 plus 8 plus 7 plus 3 plus 1. I'm going to come back to Desmos. So I'm going to actually take this number and I'm going to hit division and I'm going to divide by the total of column Y1. So I'm going to type Y1 and there's the mean of that frequency table or frequency distribution. All right, so now that we have the mean, let's discuss how to find the standard deviation. So recall that the standard deviation is the average distance from the mean for each data point. Now first let's go ahead and find the variance, which is the average of the squared distance, and then we will square root that value to get the standard deviation. Now again, since I'm dealing with a frequency distribution, each of the data points that I have, I have to basically multiply by its individual frequency. So since I have to find the distance from the mean, I'm going to go ahead and for my calculation of mean, to say that this is m equals, so I can reference that number in my formula. So first we want to add up 
So I'm going to use the total. I'm going to add up all of the squares of the differences from the mean, but I also want to multiply that by each of their respective frequencies. So the frequencies are in column one, and then I'm going to do the data point minus the mean, and I'm squaring that value. Now again, the variance is that I'm going to average the sum of all the squares. So the average would again, I would be totaling all of the frequency values. So this is the variance. And what I want to do is find the standard deviation. So let me just call this V, click over here and say V equals, and then in a new line, I'll click down here and let's say S, standard deviation, is equal to, and I'll do the square root of V, and there is the standard deviation for my grouped data set. All right, next thing I want to discuss is suppose we have a frequency distribution, a frequency table, where we have classes that describe our groups of data. Sometimes these are called bins. <coughs> Excuse me. So in this example, I can see I have a graph representing this data set and this frequency table, frequency distribution. So uh, this is, let's suppose, representing test points on a quiz in a math class. So the students that scored between 0 and 3 were two of them. Right? There was one student that scored between 4 and 7. There were zero students that scored between 8 and 11, so on and so forth. Now when we did the mean a second ago of a frequency table, we had specific numerical values here. We didn't have a class or range or bin. So how would I find the mean of a frequency table where I have classes? All right, so bringing up Desmos, again, I'm going to do a table. Now the issue here is the uh, Desmos wants one singular value in this left column. Uh, so what I'm going to do actually is type each individual number, and the approach here is to find the midpoint of that data set. So just bringing up a problem in the textbook real quick, what I want to do is find the midpoint. Now remember the midpoint for this data set is I'm going to add these two numbers and divide by 2. So I'm going to do 0 plus 3, divide by 2. I'm going to find their average, and that is the midpoint. So what I'm going to do in Desmos is in this table, I'm going to find the midpoint. So the way that I'm going to do that is in the left column, I'm going to change the title here and call this L. So this is going to be like my left endpoint. And then I'm going to call this R. This is going to be my right endpoint. I'm going to click to create a third column, and I'm going to define this column as the midpoint. So I'm going to put in parentheses. This is going to be L plus R. And then I'm going to divide by 2. So my L over here is going to be 0, my 3 in my right endpoint, and there's my midpoint that it's going to calculate for me. I'm going to do 4 to 7, 4 to 7, and there's the midpoint, right? That is the average. So I'm going to pause and continue filling this out. Okay, so here are all my midpoints, and then I want to go ahead and type in the frequencies. I'm going to just title this F. These are my frequencies, all right? And I have 2103186. 2103186. So just like in the prior example a couple minutes ago, what I want to do is multiply these together. I want the midpoint times the frequency plus the midpoint times the frequency plus the midpoint point times the frequency, so on and so forth. So I'm going to have the total of the column L plus R divide by 2 and then times F. Now here's the total of those products and then what I want to do is divide by the total of the frequencies. So the total of F and there is my average for this frequency table where I have classes or bins and I've had to calculate the midpoint. Okay, so that finishes everything I wanted to discuss about descriptive statistics using either a list of data or grouped data with Desmos.